Welcome back to the UAV Understanding Drones course. From this lecture onwards, we shall begin with an introduction to UAV, their classification and types. First of all, let us take a quick look at the course content. This course has been divided into four sections. Section 1, Introduction. Section 2, Understanding Drones. Section 3, Drone Designing and its Control. And last but not the least, Section 4, Operating Principles. Further, these sections are divided into subsections. Section 1 comprises the basic introduction of UAVs and their classification, followed by Section 2, which includes an introduction to drones, their history, parts and components, and their use. Section 3 comprises its design and control and its mode of operation. And lastly, Section 4 includes its operating principles, rules and regulations to remotely operate drones for their mission. As stated earlier, an unmanned aerial vehicle is an aircraft without any human pilot, crew or passengers on board. It uses aerodynamic forces to provide vehicle lift, can fly autonomously or be piloted remotely. UAVs are the components of the unmanned aerial system which include adding a ground-based controller and a system of communications with the UAV. UAVs can be seen as rotary wing or fixed wing depending upon the task to be carried out. UAV can be thus defined as an aircraft which is designed or modified not to carry a human pilot and is operated through electronic input initiated by the flight controller or by an onboard autonomous flight management control system that does not require flight controller intervention. The flight of UAVs may operate under remote control by a human operator as remotely piloted aircraft that is RPA or with various degrees of autonomy such as autopilot assistance up to fully autonomous aircraft that has no provision for human intervention. UAVs have increased their use, versatility and variety in both military fields such as patrolling surveillance as well as reconnaissance and civil areas including transport, rescue and agriculture of various applications over a hundred of years while enhancing their capabilities over time and fulfilling ever-changing mission requirements. UAVs were originally developed through the 20th century for military missions too dull, dirty or dangerous and by the 21st century they became an essential asset to humans and their use expanded to many non-military applications such as aerial photography, product deliveries and agriculture. The term is very much like the old name for UAVs of the 1980s that is Remotely Piloted Vehicle RPV. The RPAs puts emphasis on the fact that the aerial system includes not only the flying vehicle but also for example a ground control station, data link and antenna. It also provides room for the case where several aircraft belonging to the same system may be remotely piloted or operated as a whole by a single human operator. In this case, it is not possible for the operator to actually control each flying vehicle as if he or she was an RC pilot. Yet, in aeronautics, piloting an aircraft basically means flying an aircraft. It has a very precise meaning which is related to the capability to control the attitude of the vehicle with respect to its center of gravity. While most UAVs are remotely piloted, they almost all have an onboard autopilot in charge of the flying the aircraft. Therefore, it is not a remotely piloted vehicle, but only a remotely operated vehicle where navigation commands are sent to the aircraft. We shall discuss it further in this course, so I will conclude my lecture here. 
and start with their classification in the next lecture.